Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to our brief on um, family readiness. Uh, again, my name is uh, Second Lieutenant Jose Aguilar of Second Bridge, and this is part two, so the last part of our family readiness training. Uh, we ended the last video talking about the Office uh, of Special Needs for families who have uh, members uh, with special needs. And this is another service uh, that is provided to service members to uh, help out their families if they happen to have uh, members with special needs. Uh, the main topics that we're going to cover in this video, sorry, I just kind of ran out of time in the last video, um, so I just wanted to make sure that we covered that. But the main topics of this video is going to include strategies to promote family readiness and available resources for family readiness. Um, so we can continue now. The Military Families Learning Network, we're just going to kind of finish this part off. They nicely consolidate it right here on this slide. Um, so serving military family service professionals, obviously. The concentration areas, areas include, and we'll actually look at some of this today, uh, these various things like personal finance, health and nutrition, and other various things. And here are some online communities and some links. Some of these links are out of date. Um, I, I tried to use them, but some of the other links actually work. One of the main things that they talk about is a uh, military one source. And we'll be looking at in the next slide. So Military OneSource offers convenient 24-7 access to co uh, confidential resources and referral support for service members and their families at no cost to improve the quality of lives and the effectiveness of the military community and eligibility. There's a lot of different things right here, but basically you are eligible. Um, so uh, I thought it would be nice, like, yeah, we have this slideshow, but I actually, like, kind of peruse around the websites and see exactly what they're talking about. So you can literally just type in Military One Source. Is this, yeah, you can literally just type in Military One Source to Google, click it, and it's going to be the first link, and you're going to be opened up to this uh, web page. It's not actually linked in the slideshows for some reason, uh, but I think it's nice for you to remember that you can just Google this Military One Source. Uh, so they obviously have COVID-19 support, um, but they actually have some featured content as well. Uh, and then they have categories, which I think is the nicest part. And you can actually click on the things and there's various items uh, for the various things that you might need, like financial and legal health, health and wellness. There's even recreation, travel and shopping, which I might check out after this brief. I was mostly looking at the financial, legal, health and wellness kind of stuff. And they actually have um, web webinars that cover these activities. Uh, but other things like moving and housing might be important to you. And this is just one source uh, for you to get some help on any of these types of services. Again, the military um, network, it's the Family Readiness Network is connected. So a lot of these things like will be connected to other different sources to help you out. But I really like Military One Source because it's a really nice starting point to kind of figure out where you need to go. Just type in Military One Source to Google. Scroll down to the bottom to the categories and then click on here and you're kind of on your way uh, based off of whatever help you need. Uh, so I, I think Military One Source is just one thing I wanted to shout out. Um, so again, we're all eligible. Awesome. Non-medical counseling. Military and family life counselor, child and youth behavioral, uh, military family life counselor, personal financial counselor. Um, so this is another service that is available to us as um, service members. So they have some locations for us embedded in military units. Uh, it has a unique ability to support service members returning from combat. Um, it has event support for up to three days for the National Guard and Reserve at pre-deployment, deployment, and reintegration events for service members and their families. So these life counselors are really good for certain situations. Uh, this is another resource that you can find um, utilizing the resources that we're going over today. Um, Non-medical counseling. Oh yeah, here's Military One Source. Maybe I should have waited until now to show you guys, but I think it's a really good resource for you guys to kind of see everything. But they have traditional 50-minute counseling sessions in four formats, face-to-face. -face. Again, I didn't actually call them for like counseling because I didn't like want to waste the time if I didn't need it. Uh, but again, COVID kind of restricted a lot of restricted a lot of things. But there, I did see there's like the the chat online feature that is available in Military One Source. You can use telephone. You can do secure video counseling. They have a lot of resources to help with counseling sessions based off of any sort of non medical issue you might have. Military One Source again, solid source, especially for starting off if you're like 
this is a long presentation. I don't know where to go. Just go to military one source and then use those tabs below um, based off of your issue that you're having. Here's a pretty cool part, the family support asset mapping. So they've actually made a map of all the different kind of locations where you can get some help. Um, a small caveat, I will say a lot of these uh, places might be a little bit down due to COVID. Uh, they might have certain issues uh, due to COVID, uh, but there are a lot of online resources. Um, but let's just go down to the graph to actually see it. So here is the actual map. So obviously these areas are gonna be pretty important. Um, you can see the Army Active Duty installation, so JBLM uh, is probably, I don't really know exactly where all you guys live, but it's probably going to be like the closest large-scale installation to you. But there's different family assistance centers all throughout, um, kind of on the western portion of Oregon. So there are still resources available to you in person, off the web, if that's kind of the way you want to go, um, and if these places are still open or still at full capacity based off of the COVID restrictions. Uh, so do keep that in mind. If you're not a super internet telephone, you're more of an in-person kind of guy or gal. Okay, uh, here's the last part that I think is pretty cool. So here's the actual resources that you have at your disposal. We're not gonna go through uh, every single like resource because a lot of these are very kind of specific to you. So you're just gonna kind of have to go through these and kind of identify which ones might be useful to you. Uh, but I thought we'd kind of peruse around and look at a couple. Um, so let's see. Like there's like some really random ones, like let's move and meet up everywhere to like help solve the problems of childhood obesity. Like if that's like not that's a kind of cause you want to like, fight for a lot of the time, then hey, you don't have to use all these resources. I'm not saying you have to check out every single resource, like the Sesame Street talk. Um, but do keep in mind that there are these resources and yeah, I, this is a really bad like page. It looks kind of weird that we have these resources, uh, but like it might be important to some people and do keep in mind there are resources that probably uh, appeal to a larger population. So let's scroll down a little bit more. Uh, the yellow ribbon reintegration program. Uh, so I actually clicked on this thing. I think I opened it right here. Yeah, so here's the yellow ribbon reintegration program. Um, you can click on U uh, USAR, and they also have, I was very surprised, I think COVID has actually made it uh, pretty neat. They have like uh, some webinars that you can register for uh, based off of certain, um, they, they kind of tell you about the events and stuff. So that's another thing you can look into if you're kind of curious um, about just like a different resource. You don't have to utilize it, but just getting knowledge of those resources. Veterans Employment Coordination Service is huge as well, is a resource that might be a little bit more applicable to, to your life. Not that you're a veteran, you're still in the Army. I'm just saying something that you might actually eventually use as opposed to a Sesame Street talk or whatever. No offense to that. I, I'm not saying if you use that, you, you can use that. I'm just saying stuff. You know, if you a large audience. But here's the big one. I thought Armed Services YMCA. In the previous video, I talked about how uh, we actually, the, the Army and the military partners with the YMCA and other civilian institutions to get um, those like uh, benefits for people who don't live very close to a large scale military installation. So this is a resource that's going to be really valuable, potentially. Uh, military Child Education Coalition, Military Youth on the Move, Tutor, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, that, that was the main ones I wanted to go over. I went over the YMCA thing and the yellow ribbon. Um, so that's really all I have in this video for you. What I do want you guys to do, because a lot of this is very like personalized learning, like maybe not to keep messing with the Sesame Street thing. I just think it's a kind of funny um, title, but it's more on you guys to kind of look around and see what kind of services there are. I really um, encourage you guys to click on the links like I did for certain things that interested you and kind of look into those uh, things. Uh, one more thing I wanted to touch on, my bad, was the Military Family Learning Network was another thing, kind of like one source, maybe like a step below, but like another really valuable resource that you can utilize. I really like this one specifically because of the services that they provided. They also have webinars. I'm kind of curious. I want to like check one of these out. They have like upcoming webinars you can go to. Unfortunately, um, oh, not unfortunately, I can sign up for this. Uh, I guess I have work. Um, but there's like financial review or, or a personal finance kind of webinar that you can go to, which is free. 
Uh, there's an ethical consideration thing that you can go to, dietary guidelines, um, implementing lifestyle and performance. A lot of interesting webinars that are just provided to us that give us information about personal finance, other things that might actually be useful to us in the long run. Uh, so do keep in mind that we have these resources like Military Families Learning Network, Military One Source, which it's got a lot of different sources in it. And then like the Yellow Ribbon uh, Reintegration Program. But I actually want you guys to take some time to actually look at some of these resources and see if you can harness any of these things like, I don't know, like the Spouse Education um, or the DOD Spouse Education Career Opportunity Resources uh, to help you in whatever unique challenges that might come your way in your family um, situation. Because again, having a family in the Army is not an easy task. Um, and we do have to keep in mind that our family um, is constantly making sacrifices for us. Um, and it's important that we know this information, we have these resources so we can help out our family members to help lighten the load that they already share. Um, so I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, again, uh, you can send it up. Uh, you can ask um, people within your own platoon as well, because I'm sure they have a wealth of knowledge on these resources. Uh, and this is really important stuff for those reasons I stated previously. Uh, so have a good rest of your drill uh, and thanks for your time. Bye-bye.